<laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> hey, Rex. So we've gone Wait. so completely off the rails. Hey, Rex. Yeah. You know what's better than a four whiskey? Surely not an eight whiskey. Yep. This episode goes so far off the rails, we can't see the rails. So this is from Christopher Huckabee. Christopher Huckabee, you magnificent. Any feathers? I don't know. I look like Christopher Huckabee, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher, for the d whiskey. <laughs> the eight d too. Yeah. That's a good time. <laughs> That's a new rating system. I give this whiskey five d out of eight. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the one to eight. This is the one to eight ratio. <laughs> and this whiskey is an eight <laughs> whiskey. Uh, good. It took me so, a lot of bleeping in this conversation. So no, there was a there was a comment that I didn't get to read last time. But I I, I just glanced down right before this. <laughs> if you don't know, I kind of like ball busting. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. If you haven't heard. Yeah. Uh Ray D70. I've long heard that certain whiskeys, especially eyeless. Put hair on your chest. <laughs> Rex loves to brag that he has a pair that clangs. <laughs> but if Isla puts hair on your chest, the evidence shows that Rex likes prettier, friendlier whiskeys. <laughs> and good God, man, get some sun. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love, brother. Yeah, this is good. Uh, That's good stuff. No, like, uh, I keep the, <laughs> the patchy chest hair for one specific reason. The lulls. <laughs> the lulls. <laughs> I do it for the lulls. Yeah, like, I what? didn't get the patchy chest hair thing. I got the full chest hair thing. Yeah, no, it's no. not as like carpet level. <laughs> I did have a friend in high school yeah. who we called the squirrel, yeah. and it's because he had chest hair like a flying squirrel, right? He had a little. The head of the squirrel went right here, right. and then he had the arms, <laughs> yeah. and then it went narrow, and then it went legs, <laughs> and it's like a flying squirrel, yeah. and then tail headed yeah. down. Yeah, south. yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So we called him the flying squirrel, yeah. and, and no one knew. It's just because when you saw him with his shirt off, he had a giant flying squirrel pelt on his chest. Well, when we go swimming... Oh. We still haven't even tried the whiskey yet. Like, it bothers my wife and my kids. Like, Dad, just, oh, I find it hilarious. Why does it bother them? I don't know. Let's, uh, does it bother you? <laughs> Only because it's like a one foot away from me. We're doing it again, really. I can't. Whiskey Vault has been brought to you by Whiskey. Here we go. So this is oh, yeah. a whiskey made by, well, I got a lot of banana, uh, a banana bread in, in this, the nose just now. This is why people often accuse us of being drunk while we shoot. Yeah, we're not drunk. We, it would be more excusable if we were drunk. <laughs> banana bread, man. I just got banana bread with a slight musty note. See, okay, I, yes, banana bread. I'm not getting the must as much as I am getting uh, nail polish. I'm getting banana. Yeah, it's just high alcohol. Bana but are banana the, bread and nail polish. It's only 40%, but the alcohol is jumping out of the glass. It's 40%? Yeah. Wow. So this is the Lowe's, the Prices, and Rick McKinney. Are the five people in charge of this company? This is this is Boise, Idaho. Real Idaho bourbon. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of counterfeit out of Idaho? I don't know. That's a it's it's, such, <laughs> it's so popular that people are counterfeiting Idaho whiskey. No, no, left and right. This is the real stuff. Yeah. How do you know? It's like the real McCoy, but we call it the real Idaho. You have to, <laughs> you have to count the number of. Yeah. <laughs> any more or less. <laughs> it's not real. They are never going to share this review on their Facebook page. Sorry, Lowe's Prices and McKinney. It's just reminding me of that one that I made and aged. Oh, that was heavy banana. You want to compare? Wait, you have that much? I've gotten three more bottles of it. Oh, good God. So this is four month old uh, bourbon. Yeah. Uh, bottle six. Of, this is bottle two of six. Smell that and tell me I'm not wrong. Banana and acetone. Yeah, this right? is, this smells stronger, but it's the same smell. Yeah, this is more banana bread. Mm. That's banana nut bread right there in a, in a glass. Yeah, the more there's more nuttiness on that for sure. All right, so bourbon can only be made in the U.S., but in Idaho, <laughs> it's the real Idaho. The real. This bourbon is the real Idaho. <laughs> And uh, Here's, so I know how this process. <laughs> <laughs> I know how the process went. No, you go they're looking the at they're looking at the logo, <laughs> and they're thinking, "Wait, 
eight. We only we already have eight. <laughs> but is it missing a little something? What do we need to put on there? I don't know. The make re it real. <laughs> make it the real item. <laughs> and then, I'm not gonna get to a real review on this whiskey. It's just not gonna happen. You go to the website, and essentially what they describe is how to make whiskey. Yeah, that's a, well. It's like what? Well, explain no, to us our whiskey. Oh, to, we use water and mash and distill it into bourbon. To be fair, it's like well. That's to be to be fair though, sort of all that bourbon. seems to be the default approach to most craft distilleries. Though. It is. It is. They're not the only ones. Yeah. So most craft distilleries, say, hey, this is how whiskey's made. Now, kudos to them. They are at least releasing two-year-old whiskey. You know, I'm getting a little of that wood funk. Okay. <laughs> little wood funk on the taste there, like the. The raw leather wood bunk that mm -hmm. I often describe. And you always say it's kind of sappy. Yeah, it tastes to me in green. Green. Mm. Yeah. I think that has to do with the barrels, though. There's a little sulfur note in there, too. Now, this is, you said it's a bourbon, so it's new, yeah, new it's barrels. Corn. Mm. New oak. So in terms of barrel options, one of the things that you've mentioned before mm -hmm. is, um, and I won't name names, but some industry friends, mm -hmm. you're talking barrels with them. Yep. They are, have distilleries, they're making their stuff. And, and they'll there, say, I there can are always some, tell. There, always some, there are some barrel sources that they will they not touch. They won't touch any products that use that barrel source. Because they always get yeah, some type that of... That sappy green, it's too young, they kill, only kiln dry or something. So the thing is, you got yard drying and kiln drying. And, and kiln drying wood... Mm -hmm is similar to people trying to speed up the aging process on whiskey. Yeah. Right? Uh, yard drying is time and patience and it's more pricey and, you know, and uh, but it lends itself to the more older nuanced flavors that you're well known for. Um, a lot of uh, Coopers will do both, yard and kiln drying. And so it's just, man, it's all over the map. If I let it sit in the mouth for a while, mm -hmm. all eight six of it, the honey note becomes more prominent. Uh, the, okay, hang the, on. Like the raw leather, the green, whatever, that, that kind of drifts away. And I get much more of a, of a honey. Uh, Michael Pacini, I hope to one day join you two for a cigar and some fine whiskey at your new distillery. Yeah, maybe, you're right, honey. Yeah. Maybe a cigar whiskey pairing event. Once again, a great vid Rex needs to grow some chest hair. <laughs> There's some news. <laughs> for the lulls, man. For so, the lulls. Um, in our distillery, I wanted to have a little humidor mm -hmm. because I smoke cigars every oh. day. Oh, are we doing? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, do you oh, know yeah. what channel we're on right now? Yeah. Can we say this? Yeah. Okay. We're not saying go buy something. Oh, we're giving news. Don't go buy. We're just giving news. So um, I wanted to have in the distillery a little cigar tasting box, you know, or a mm -hmm. uh, humidor a little on the countertop because I smoke cigars and I always love a whiskey and a cigar. Now you can't smoke it inside. But the problem was. I, I was going to partner with a local cigar shop. And so I reached out to our lawyer and she said, you can't partner. What are you jiggling around in there? It's supposed to be cut, cut to a close up on you. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> I, I called a lawyer and I said, so what, uh, what's the rules on us working with a cigar shop locally to profit share where they put some cigars in, we sell them, we keep some of the money. And they keep restocking. We don't have to stock anything. We don't have to do. They just they're well, like want, a vending machine. I would want to do that if they if we got a cigar to our specifications. Right. Okay. And what she said is no, you can't do that. Okay. And I'm like, oh. And then she said, but you know, you can sell your own cigars. I'm like, wait, 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 what? Oh. She's like, yeah, you can just get your own cigar and uh, retailer's license and sell your own cigars. And I went, really? She said, yeah. And also, you can mail those. <laughs> I'm like, what? I can make. Or we could source and mail cigars. Man, just and she said, "Yeah." So, so I think we may have to have a, a whiskey tribe cigar. So we'll do a whiskey tribe cigar. Yeah, we'll, we'll design some cigars. Maybe that'll be a decision point in the whiskey tribe. We'll, we'll, we should design rapper. We filler. should design cigars specifically for our whiskeys, pairing with specific whiskey. It doesn't even have to be ours. or any whiskey. Yeah. Any, yeah, we just pick a. All whiskey. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. That could be cool. That's a decision point. Sure. All right. Yeah. Great. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And that means I never have to buy cigars at retail ever again. <laughs> ah, that's, that's where it comes from. Yes. Uh, Adam O'Gara, is it too late to add Rex getting a full body wax to the job? <laughs> Dude. Everybody vote in the comments. If we get at least 50 people saying wax Rex. Oh, come hashtag on. Hashtag wax Rex. Come on. Then we will also nair 
the chest. No, I want. Now we'll do the full, whoosh, and no. then that like the forty year old version. I want to. Dude, I think my lols are worth more than 50 comments. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to hashtag Wax Rex. No, God, you can start it in the Facebook group too. All right, hashtag Shave Daniel's Beard. <laughs> no. Two comments. No. So this no, is how it works. No. One comment. No. Shave Daniel's Beard. I am not doing it. I don't care how many votes happen. <laughs> because when I shave this beard off, I turn into a child. <laughs> and uh, no one's going to respect the chancellor of a business school or vice chancellor of a business school. With he's a childlike a, face. He's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Let me teach you about business. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> time Bandit. Uh, first time commenter. Love Ooh. the name, by the way. Long time lurker. Uh, love the non snobbery attitude on this channel. Got into whiskey when you guys made the PewDiePie video. You guys have an awesome channel. Thank you. Sipping on two thirds Ardbeg mm. and Anoa. Uh, and one third Lefroig quarter cask Ooh. while watching this. First time blending these two. Challenge accepted. Oh, good on you. Good on you. He's just trained so well. It's adorable. <laughs> For... I still have my beard. <laughs> First time blending these two, and it's probably the best combo yet. By the way, biscuits equal shortbread cookies. Come on, man. Yes! That's the old thing. Yes! The new thing is... I win still. Pop-tarts or toaster strudels. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> Hard bag and uh, and quarter cask. We'll fill to the E and then split it. One, two. It's so much whiskey. Three. I put that comment in there for a couple of reasons. One, I really wanted to try this thing he suggested, mm -hmm. and I know if I pasted the comment, you would insist, and so I get to try it. I, hey, wait, 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 wait. No, you gotta share, man. I'm out of my own generosity. So, for. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, I will still pour this even with a tongue in there. I am okay with that. Alright. We good? Yes. Okay. Totally good. So, I think you ended up a little bit better than me, but that's <laughs> no, fine. Not at all. Oh, the smell on that. Sorry, eight <laughs> bourbon. You're, uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Chad's got a lot of bleeping to do. I, I, so, yeah, I can't say cougar either. No, you really can't. It's too soon. Too, <laughs> too soon. soon. Too soon. So, Time Bandits was my favorite title because that's one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And no one ever knows what it is. You ever seen Time Bandits? I don't think so. Oh, it's one of the best movies. Time Bandits people unite. This is like a very minty on the nose, and then the taste of chewing a mint leaf. Yeah, I normally only get that from Lago 116. Yeah, right? but the combination of these two, I'm getting a mint leaf. And in Lock Villain 16, you always qual you always qualify it though as oh, being dude. You always qualify it though as being the minty, the feeling of minty finish. Yes, and this I'm actually getting uh, the feeling of minty finish, and then also the minty flavor. Man, this is a remarkable whiskey. Well done, Time Bandit. Mm. And then some tobacco. I think we're done. Some tobacco, some brine. I think we go out on this. It one. doesn't do anything weird. It's just two amazing whiskeys combined to make an amazing. Whiskey. All right. No, I think uh, we're done here. I'm making sure that there's not an opportunity for me to combine more whiskeys. Oh. We'll hit that later. That's, to, that's, next, that's tomorrow's. Shh, 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 shh. I saw a thousand dollars. I saw a thousand dollars. Okay. Mm. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink eight <laughs> <laughs> May, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, Drop a question or comment down below.